What's going on guys? John Elder here from dkinter.com and in this video, we're gonna build a quick spell check app with Kinter and Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're gonna build a quick spell check app with Kinter and Python. You can see we've got it here. I've got a text box. I typed in, hello, my name is John, misspelled name. Come down here, fix spelling, boom. Hello, my name is John. And it fixes the misspelled word automatically. So super easy, super quick. And I think you're gonna be surprised just how easy it is to build this app out. It should only take us a couple of minutes to build this and it's really cool. So head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Kinter series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got some basic starter code that we've always got. I'm calling it spell.py. Now, the first thing we need to do is import something called text blob, which is gonna do all of the heavy lifting here. So let's go from text blob. We wanna import text blob. Now notice the capital T and the capital B in text blob there, but it's not capital the first time you write it. So just sort of keep that in mind. Now text blob does not come with Python, so we need to install this in our terminal. I'm in my ctkinter.com directory and let's go pip install text blob. And I've already got it. So it's saying, hey, you've already got it, but it'll go ahead and install on your computer. Now we can head back over here and build out our app. So let's uh, build out the GUI here. And the first thing we need is a text box. So I'm just gonna call it my text. It's gonna be a text box. We wanna put it in root. And let's give this a width of like 50. Sounds good. And let's just my underscore text dot pack this guy. And let's give it a pad Y of 20 to push it down the screen a little bit. Okay, so that's good there. We also need a button. So let's go my underscore button. And this is gonna be a button. We wanna put it in root. I want the text to say something like uh, fix spelling errors, something like that. And let's give this a command of Fellerize or something like that. Call this command anything you want. So let's my underscore button dot pack this guy, give it a pad Y of 20 to push it down screen a little bit. So, okay, we've got our basic GUI, very simple, not much here. Now we need this Spellerize function. So let's define our Spellerize function. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna take everything that we've typed into the text box and stick it in a variable that we can do stuff with. So I'm gonna call this uh, get text, something like that. And this is just gonna be my underscore text dot get. We wanna get everything in that box from position 1.0 all the way to the end of the box. So that'll grab all the text. So let's say uh, grab text from box. After that, let's go ahead and delete text box, all right? So let's get rid of everything in that text box. So let's go my underscore text dot delete. And we wanna delete everything from 1.0 to end. Okay, so now we just need to run our text that's in this get text variable through the text blob library and have it fix the spelling errors for us. So I'm gonna create a variable called blobby, <laughs> call it anything you want. and we need to convert all of our text into a text blob instance, let's call it, or a text blob blob, for lack of a better word. So we just call the text blob function and just pass in our get text. Okay, so that will sort of turn everything into a text blob blob, I guess. Now we just need to fix the spelling errors, pass them back into our text box so that we can read them and be done with the whole thing. So let's say uh, fix spelling errors. And here, let's say convert text to blob, I guess. So I'm gonna start out just calling my underscore text and let's insert back into this into position 1.0. Now, what do we want to insert? We wanna insert the corrected text. So we could just call our blobby blob and then just call the dot correct function on it, okay? And that's all there is to it. That's all we have to do. So if we go ahead and save this, let's go ahead and run it and test it out. We can see again, hello, my Nami is John. Right ever. Obviously we've misspelled name. We click the button, fix spelling errors, boom. It says, hello, my name is John. And that's all there is to it. Now we could get fancy with this and we can break apart all the words in our sentence and then sort of output the errors if you want to sort of keep track of what's been misspelled. Here we're just saying, hey, fix it and move on. You know, if you wanted to create like a spell check app that actually showed you which words are misspelled and then you clicked on them, obviously this would be a lot more complicated. Maybe we could do that if you guys are interested in that. Let me know in the comment section below. We'll build that out. In this video, I just want to show you how easy it is to correct spelling with the text blob library. And that's really all there is to it. 
So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab a totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widgets Reference Guide book. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book, enter your email address, and I'll send that right over to you. And while you're there, check out tkinter.com and think about joining as a member. For one low price, you can get access to all my Kinter videos and courses. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership and check that out today. So my name is John Elder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.